Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome Not to Thursday. Tuesday. Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. I gotta write this in. And welcome back to the hall. Part This two. is part two. That is why we're in the exact same outfit. We literally, <laughs> <haven't moved. laughs> literally just hit pause and play on recording. So, instead of like killing a bunch of time this time before, we're just gonna jump right we're into the hall. Right your... I'm gonna let Ryan go first because he's got a bit more than me. And as usual, we're going to go 5-5. Five five. And if you're interested in anything, email us. It's below. Or you can DM us on Instagram. Yes, you can. As well. Okay, so first up for me, tis the season. Fun little Halloween t-shirt. I love this. New tag size large. I think it's so cute. So it's trick-or-treat in the bag. Oh, that is cute. I know. I love that. Okay, and then we have a men's item. This is a men's Ted Baker, size 5, which, like, he... That's like an... He equates it to like a 3X. This fits like a large. So. Or an XL, maybe. Yeah. Um, this is called the Pinball Sweater. The Pinball Sweater. In a blue knit. It does have a little bit of pilling on it, but like for a $200 sweater, you still gotta pick it up. That was a good one. Okay, so we talked about Sundry last time. And this is another example of pick it up if it's anthro or if it's not. I do not believe this one is before. I think I told it before. It says only good days, Sundry size 2, which is medium yes and it's just a really cute gray pre-distressed little uh sweatshirt and then we have this was a bins find this was in the bougie bins this isn't a good bin this is a sanctuary size small textured um little moto jacket with these little faux leather details and the zippers on the sleeves i think it's so cute so sleek so stylish i love it that one i'm gonna be careful with because i don't want it to get pulled hairs on Okay, so we have a another sundry. This one's so cute. Sundry size one, so this is a small. But it's just this cute little, like, fitted striped t-shirt with the little hearts on it. That is really cute. Oh, I love it. I like the colors. I know. Um, this also is the season. This is a Cote Urban Outfitters, size extra small. Our Cote is kind of like the Urban Outfitters version of Free People, even though Urban Outfitters owns Free People. But it's this really cute, kind of like, oh, perfect. It shows up really well, actually. Um, little mini dress with off the shoulder and these really fun, like, balloon sleeves. And like a, is that like a Baroque print? I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna call it patterned. Yeah. And these are all, uh, velour. So it's like velour on regular fabric. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay. So <laughs> I'll, just, I'll give you a turn. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with what I said I would be showing last video. This is the Givenchy find that I had. It is Givenchy Sport, which is a vintage Givenchy line that they do not make anymore. And it's a wool blend it's so with this super cute Givenchy it's print throughout. So bougie. <laughs> and it's new with tags. And <laughs> this might tags? look sketchy, like some weird cheap tag. But this was DA. But actually, yeah, I looked it up and this is the Givenchy tags they used to have. It says like Cashland, Cashlan, I don't know. But yeah, so I thought it was fake at first. And then I, I get some Googling and it's not. Nice. And it has like that spot on the back, which obviously since it's new with tag, I can't wash it to see if it'll come out, but I'm assuming it will. But I can't just, because I don't want to take the tag. Probably off. just been dunk. Yeah. Then I'll jump into the Levi's that you just saw in the thumbnail. So these ones are amazing. And I actually paid up for these because I just love he them. He did. That he did. They are the super wide leg. And when I bought them they were at Nordstrom Rack. They rang up as like the like mega ultra supreme wide leg. And I was like, wow. So the cute Levi's they have on the back. On the back they're so and they're this like darker wash. And but the like, leg how? is like so wide. And they it's were sold at Free People as well. So just an added perk there. But I love these. They're so fun. So, so much. And they're a size 26. And the Givenchy is a size 40. And I think it said it was like a medium. Yeah, I'd say medium large. The fabric feels like it has a little stretch to it. Then we've got some vintage Levi's. These were Ben's Fines. Really cute pair of vintage 550s. They say 33, but I believe these measure out to be about a 32. Super cute. Straight leg and kind of like a stone black wash like not ultra black more of like a gray like a faded black yeah. yeah then a pair of these say size 36 these ones measured out to be like 33 or 33 and a half kind of for the waist um these are 501s i vintage. love this wash yeah this wash is like a classic like acid wash but it's like, like acid with how 
around the pockets and stuff. It looks yeah. kind of funky. It looks really cute. Um, and I also love this like it's a button fly. Flap I was like, what else was I gonna say about them? on the tab? They're button fly. Yeah. What does this tab even say? It just says five hundred one. It's like this extra. I feel fun. like you're supposed to rip that off when you buy them, but yeah, it looks cool. He didn't. So. <laughs> Then we got this pair of 32, and I think these actually do measure out to be about 32. This is a black, black. Black, yeah, this is like a real black mm -hmm. wash, and they're also a pair of 550s. Super cute. Love them. And the last pair, size 32, these ones measure out to be like 31, I think. I feel like I own these jeans. And they're a nice classic wash. This is a Love good them. classic pair of Levi's, and these ones have a zip fly. The only one with the button fly is that acid wash pair. Love them. Okay. First up for me, I saw this at a consignment store and I could not leave it. It's perfect. It's Marc Jacobs with this fun unicorn on it. It has all these rhinestones on it. This is a size small and then it's just plain in the back. And then we have, so this I thought was hysterical. I just love this. It's Wild Fox, size small. Um, whoever owned this before me wrote her name in it. So <laughs> thanks girly. It says, I'm allergic to mornings. That's cute. I love the fox. I know. I love the, and I love this blue too. This is one of my favorite colors, this wild fox blue. And it's like and that it's classic like, wild fox where it looks almost like inside out. Yeah. Love them. Okay, so if you remember the last video we talked about Athleta, this is that same pair of pants. This is the Athleta Brooklyn Wide Leg Crop Pant in a size eight. I love these. They're so fun. They're cute. They're really cute. They do have, they um, like those Lulus I have, they have like a hidden pocket, like a zipper pocket in the, in the main pocket. And then just two pockets in the back that also have zippers. So good for Athleta. Okay. Then we have, I'll dig mine out of this. If you could see this right now, this is like me trying to just like really quick grab something <laughs> and pull out of the bag. If you could see Mike right now, he's giving Ryan direct eye contact, whether he's digging in the bag or speaking because he thinks it's his food time, but we got an hour until his dinner time. It's not. This is another one of the Urban Outfitters JoJo button downs. This is what they look like when they are not tied. Mm-hmm. If And what he's talking about is, because I showed that I have three of these in Tuesday's video, if you missed that. Yes. Yeah. And I have another one here. So I have this one in like a tan oatmeal color, and then I have it in gray as well. Yeah. Um, the gray one, I believe is size small, as with this one, and just as a refresher. There'd be the tag. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I have, so I'm kind of like mm, with Madewell, but this one was cute. I got it at Goodwill. It's Madewell texture thread, really cute green, kind of like pea soupy green, cropped. I was gonna say, it must be cropped. Ribbed little top. This is a size small. Not like ultra really cropped. Cute. I think cropped to the point of like you wear mom jeans with it and it kind of like hits right at that. Yeah, it hits like mid stomach. And yeah. I do like the little knot detail too. Yeah. At the bottom. Um, okay, let's do a few pairs of pants, because I feel like I haven't done any jeans. So, I got a lot of Urban Outfitters jeans, because I always do. These are BDG Urban Outfitters uh, 26 Slim BF Low Rise. I love these jeans. They're really cute. They have all this factory distressing on them, and then they have this really fun, like, miss-in-a-pocket detail. Did you say low rise? Yeah. Yeah, these are not a low rise at all. No, it's a and lie. Like, BF low rise. <laughs> low rise. Look at the bag. Fold them in half again. Low rise? Where? That's the rise right. is like 11 inches on these. That it's like 10 and a half, 11. Rise. So. I don't even know why they would call it that. Okay. That might have been from the era where like 15 inches was considered a high rise at that point. So like, I can see it. Okay. So these are BDG again. These is the newer label. These. 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 Newer label, BDG. These are the Kick Flare High Rise Cropped in a size 27. Kind of a more classic denim cute. wash with the raw hem on them and then the factory distressing and the kind of like worn out looking pockets. I do much like those. Okay, and then we have, are you coming to join us? Yes? Okay, hi. We have another pair of Urban Outfitters jeans. These are the Girlfriend High Rise Cropped in a size 28. Just a classic, kind of like more neutral wash. No fancy or distressing. And also a telltale sign of a BDG jeans is the three um, red stripes in the back. So Cute wash pair. Though. Yes, and they never have a size. That's what that is. Okay, let's dig in my bag a little bit more. Um, Athleta, size medium. I love this. It's called the Sage Hoodie. In a sage, sage in a sage yeah. green. Super cute, basic. Um, I'm trying to find one really nice thing in here. Oh, here's the other. 
This one is tied. Tied small. Have you learned the name of it by and now? Do you recall, Dara? The JoJo. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> okay, so this is um, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. The brand on this one I'm not entirely familiar with, but I picked it up because it was in the bins, obviously. It's BCE, size small, and it says it's made in Los Angeles. So, yeah. like, that seems kind of Could expensive. Be a boutique. And it just has the um, song list. I had to post on my Instagram. I was like, what do these words mean? And so many people were like, it's the album list. Hmm. I'm like, <gasps> okay. I was going to say, do I get a turn today? No. So this no, one is have. one that I paid up for. Um, this is a size medium high high jacket, which is Anthropology. That is the newer high high label. It's so cute. The back is where the fun is. Like I oh, said in my yes. Instagram story, it's like a mullet. The party's in the back. The business is in the front. So it's just kind of like a green, I mean, it's still fun in the front, just not as fun as the back. It's like a butterfly stamp on it. I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was super cute. This is a new tag Urban Outfitters long like blanket say scarf it and it says anytime. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Can you imagine it hit me? <laughs> this I have been taught a lesson on by many people of the 80s on Instagram. And ladies of the 80s. So I was doing, I was posting this on Instagram and I just said like, look at this fun floral vintage haul by, I don't know, someone named Laura Ashley. And I got so many people being like, <laughs> what? You don't know her? And I was like, who? <laughs> Doesn't she still make so, clothes now? I feel like I I've definitely so. seen like a Laura Ashley. So before. apparently she was the queen of florals in the 80s. And this is the sweater I that I have by her. I can really see why. And, and I just think it's so cute. I do love, this like, is definitely, this is a cottage core sweater. It's so cute. I don't know the size. I think it's a medium or a large. Then we have this corduroy size six free people blue jacket with like ruffles at the bottom. I do love the corduroy. Super cute and corduroy's in and I actually really like the color. Another free people and this one's We the Free and it's a size medium. And it's this like drapey kind of ruffly. The jacket. Slightly moto jacket. I love this. This is so fun. This little like. Yeah. Really cute. A little doodad on it. And then I might as well do the other free people jacket if Is I can go sit? find where it went. Here we go. Ooh. We aren't very organized for this. No. I apologize. <laughs> so here's my other free people jacket. This is more of like a like medieval style. I don't know. Or like um, I can't think of the name of it right now. I don't know. The words like on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> free people size medium, huge buttons, and a ton of buttons on the sleeves, and it some like, like puffy, um, puffy. It looks shoulders. like Civil War. Like, well, what's that, like, <laughs> style called? Not, like, medieval. Um, like a general jacket. So this, along with one other thing, was the queen of the evening in the bins. I'm going to try to not get this on mic. This is Tibby. Size medium. This you is got the, your bolo list and you don't know Tibby. Write it down. This is the new tag Tibby. But look at the so beauty cute. of this top. It is blue plaid with these amazing sleeves. That's really cute. I cannot. I love the colors. The woman, Tibby is so expensive. And then it does have like a um, like a halfway down zip in the back. And the zipper pull is a T. The woman that was behind me in the bins, I felt kind of bad because people would like wait behind you when the bins change. And With I was, the one person. I was bins. throwing everything in the cart because everything was so good. And I really felt bad because when she got there, she like picked up two things and just <laughs> She just went to the next one. I was like, I'm sorry. Okay, um, let's do these. These, if you are out of the loop like I am, these are John Galt Brandy Melville, but this particular style of jeans sells for like 40 to $50. Hmm. Easy. I don't remember the name, but I know that they do. <laughs> do um, your research on Brandy Melville because there are some pieces that are like rare. There's that one. That sell for so much. Some sell for like... Eight bucks. Ten dollars. And then some sell for like, like most of them. 70 or 80. But like there's one like pink cardigan sweater. Argyle. The Argyle stuff does really well. A pink cardigan Argyle sweater. That's what it is. Oh, is that what that one is? Easy hundred bucks. Like out the door. Yes. Simple. Um, the this, only listings on Posh are like in search of listings. Which that means you know. Yeah. The supply is less than the demand, which is amazing. Um, so these do not have a label in them for some reason. I think she just washed them too many times. But the... The little buttony thing says Jean Galt Brandy Melville. Jean Galt. Jean Galt. I do not know who Jean Galt, Galt is, but um, these is Jean Galt. These. Just a good old pair of like '80s high waisted jeans. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are called the higher rise jeans. 
Don't quote me. But maybe. So just say every brand like it's expensive. This is a pair this of jungle. Okay. Um then we have I'll do a couple of Tory pieces. Oh, Some this really is really so cute Tory pieces. Tory size one, one X. I can't get over this. I think it's so cute. It's got sparkles in it. Yeah, it has like a little metallic y sheen to it. And oh. these really cute little flowers That's playing so in the back. Cute. And it does have um a little three little three button thing on the front. I love that. So cute. Okay, the other one's very. I can't get over the metallic strips in there. It wasn't hard to find. Okay, another bins find. Torrid size 2, 2X. I think this is perfect for fall. Because look at these colors. It is. They're so cute. And it has this really pretty lace detail on the chest with the little keyhole in the back and the flutter sleeve that I think is so cute. Um, Let's do. What's this? Not that one. Let's do this one. Okay, so I don't like Zara, but I picked this up because it was three dollars and I think it's cute. But like, look at it; it's so cute with it like is. a sweater and like a pair of jeans. I feel like your sister would wear that. I think she has this in blue, if I'm not mistaken, or I've sold it in blue. One of the two. Um, this is a size medium. Zara knit, love it. I think that's it for now. Okay, I'll finish <laughs> mine because <laughs> I don't have much left. I'll let Jack as a turn. So, are we surprised? No. <laughs> So this is a pair of Lucky Brand Basil or Basil booties. My favorite, if I haven't made that clear. They're this beautiful like rust barn door color. I love the flowers. With They're roses so embroidered into it. Probably the cutest pair I've ever had of them. They're a size six and I love them. And I did pay up for them, but I love them. Sorry. Then we've got <laughs> this pair of Silence and Noise, which is Urban Outfitters, size small like basketball shorts they're so cute and they're though. like metallic -y blue and they snap all the way down that's so fun so you can wear them like split all the way down super cute then we have this is a bolo it's one of the aritzia brands it is called sunday best i love aritzia any of their brands i will buy so well and it's this like duster cardigan in a very very light cream it's color and, and it's a size small and there is no fabric tag so i do not know what fabric that is it's soft though <laughs> and last but not least is a Size so small. I joy. Joie. I do not get joie like ever. No. But I thought this was super cute. It's I think, a sweater. I think we both got one this trip though. Yeah. It's a sweater and like it's sweater season. It's a cashmere blend. And it's like it's a nice staple. I like a know. gray and it wasn't kind of too like expensive. cowl neck sweater. I think no matter what the brand, I'll just kind of do good. And that's no all of mine. So let's continue on with the hoarder. Oh god. Okay. So I'm not gonna unravel this because it's a lot, but use your imaginations. It is a mid-length poncho, and I think I'm gonna keep it because it's so pretty. It's so soft. I do not recognize the brand. It's World Trade, like cashmere. It's 100% lamb's wool. It makes Mike sneeze. Do you not like this one? <laughs> so Mike doesn't like lamb's wool. Good <laughs> Okay, buddy. You good? Okay. Oh, poor Technical Mike. difficulty. Poor Mike. We continue. Oh. Poor Mike. He's like, bye. He says, I'm out of here. Have fun. Uh, so this is an Arian Alley. <laughs> he really doesn't know where to go. Arian Alley Anthropology, size large. The only issue with this is it does have a teeny, teeny little stain right on the front of the neck, but you can't tell. And it's so pretty. It has these really pretty bell sleeves. Absolutely love it. Then we have a new tag, three people dress. I do not remember the name of this off the top of my head. Um, Sunny Dreams, Sun Dream, something like that. In, what do they call this color? T combo. But I think this is so pretty. Three people intimately. It's like a slip dress with the buttons that go halfway down and it's just open. I think you're supposed to wear this like over pants or over something. But it's really pretty. pretty. And then it has this lace detail on the back. It is a size medium. And as with any haul, Mike just has to play with one of his squeakers. He's getting revenge. Okay, so this is Back to the Future, a hoodie. I'm not gonna unfold it because I don't wanna get dogged all over it. Um, it is a size medium. I don't know precisely where this is from, but I found it in the bins. I just thought it was really cute. My and then we have <laughs> a an intimately free people lace top this one is a size medium um this one i think as well i saw it styled where it was like she had it 
with like a really cute floral bralette on under like a blazer or like she wore it over like a tank top tank tap. a tank tap but i just think it's really pretty very very, very cute where i've um, been spending too much time in minnesota my goal I is tank i want to have a minnesota accent like that's the mission you know <laughs> i want one very bad Okay, this is a pair of Levi's 721 High Rise skinny jeans in kind of like a washed black. Good old pair of Levi's with the black patch on the back. I do love them. Um, we have this pair of cloth and stone. I haven't done my research as to if these are anthropology. I just picked them up because they're comfortable. It's the me show. This is size medium, just a raw hem. Pair of little loungy shorts. Speaking of loungy shorts, we got a couple more. This is Hey Hey Anthropology, size small. Uh, these are called the Isle shorts with this really fun embroidery throughout. And then they have these really fun little like dinky um, tassels. Please comment below. Do you guys say Hey Hey or Hi Hi? I would say Hi Hi. I flip flop. I feel like, like <laughs> it would make sense either here. way. Okay. Um, hey. I got a ton of little Urban Outfitters tank tops. I will spare you that boringness because it's the same tank top in 45 different brands. <laughs> These are New Tag Raga, which is very expensive retail, but it doesn't necessarily resell for a ton. Um, well, the, it depends on the piece. It's some of those anthro pieces. Yeah. Big money, big money. This is just on Revolve. So this one isn't going to do as good. Um, I do not point, point something, pant, short. Really cute pockets. They do have this kind of like flowy little flap in the front and then just plain in the back. And then, okay, I'll do one more and then we can wrap we it can up. Call we it. can call it a day. Excuse me. That's Mike's revenge. <laughs> He's like, you can sneeze Neither's now. Your turn. This is Moth Anthropology. This is a size extra small. Really cute kind of chunky cowl knit sweater. I think I've had this in like green. And it's sold. I great. love it. I, and there's a really cute model picture for it, too. So, always with me. This household is getting too hectic to keep filming. So, I guess we will be cutting the haul right here. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around and watching through. One last thing Ryan's best find. Oh. Okay, so I. Story it's in, time. It's in minute. Okay, so I'm going through the bin. This is a bin that's already been looked through. Because as we've said in every single bins video, look at the bins go through the bins through. that people have gone through. This is a perfect example of this. It was in the kids stuff. We've all seen those bins, just full of kids clothes. It's all got stains on it. It's all Carter's, whatever. I see a Gucci tag just pop out of the bin, like a little Easter egg, a little blade of grass. I say, I don't even look at it. I look at the Gucci tag. I flip whatever it is inside out, make sure it's real. Bottom of the cart it goes. Anything good I find, it goes in the so bottom of my cart. And I like look around as if someone's gonna run up and take but it. But it's also like, now I literally have no reason to do that because it's one person per bin. <laughs> and you can't go near other people. No, like they yell at you if you get like too close to somebody else's bin. So I'm like, nobody's just gonna like run up behind me. I know, me but when I found my Supreme jacket, I did the same thing. I hit it. I was like, don't touch. He says, so it's under the bin. I make my little Instagram post, you know, whatever. I get home and I realize it is a 2017 kids Gucci deer, it's called the Fauna Gucci baby cotton dress. Retails for five, I think the highest I saw was 550 for children's clothing. It's like modern Gucci. It's so yeah. cute. Here's, the Here's picture. a picture. So why I don't have it with me is because it is currently air drying on Debbie's washing machine <laughs> in Minnesota. Yeah. As with anything children's, it has grease some stains, stains on the front. They came know. out like a dream though. You know, they really did. If you, uh, grease stains, Don dish soap. Yeah. Clear, Don dish soap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. So, so that's that. 36 months, three years. Yes. So like three teeth, I think. Yeah. So this... Round we found Dior, Givol, Louis Vuitton, Givenchy, <laughs> Louis Vuitton, and Gucci. I found a shopping bag. So I MZ guess, Wallace. I suppose we had a decent thrifting weekend. I had a great Tibby. Love me some Minnesota thrifting. It's you can't you can't beat it. You yes. really can't. Anyways, we are gonna cut it off here. So we will see you tomorrow on the second channel. If yes, you'd like to check that will. out, we'll, we'll see what's we'll coming. surprise you. It'll be fun. And then on Saturday for What's Old Saturday, again, be sure to go back to last Saturday's and comment your username so you can be Please shouted see. out for our closet highlight. Yay! And that's all we have for you. So we will see you whenever we see you next. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.